Greetings, flesh creatures. It is I, Megatron. On behalf of TFYLP, I want to congratulate you for listening to the most refined collector podcast on this miserable little planet Earth. Yes. Here you'll find knowledgeable fans discussing every aspect of Transformers and beyond. Now, enjoy the show while I continue my path to complete conquest of all of you miserable biological entities. Predacons, terrorize! Hi, and welcome to TFLP episode 334. Uh, we are doing a, a pre-record again because we have some, you know, uh, vacations and things going on and all that type of thing. So, life. Um, yeah, yeah, life is happening. So, uh, so yeah, so uh, we've got myself tonight, uh, Lucas Bockelman, and with me I have Christian Russell. Hello. Jack Bruner. Howdy, howdy. And Jim Black. Mm, what, what? Who are you people? What are you doing in my house? So, yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Um, so, for tonight's episode, uh, you know, it, it. in case you didn't know, it is the 35th anniversary this year for uh, the, uh, the Transformers brand. And so, yes. Hasbro is doing uh, some cool things for their 35th anniversary. So, decided that we kind of do a, a retrospective and kind of pick out some of our favorite, uh, you know, things. So um, what, one of the things I think is really interesting or neat that, that Transformers has done is they're doing these special boxes for the 35th anniversary that they're sending to certain people, not not to us, but to others. Um, Damn it. <laughs> with a you know, um, a, an assortment of, uh, some of the new product, like hitting the different lines. And so I know that, uh, you know, some of us, uh, have really been eyeing some of those, some of the stuff in the boxes, like the, the bot bots. I Um, believe the Bumblebee movie Optimus is in there too. Yep. If I'm not mistaken, which I wouldn't mind paying for that box just to have this again, because I absolutely love this thing. Hasbro reps, listen carefully if you're listening to our show. I want the BotBots box. I will praise everything about BotBots you ever wanted me to do. I will be the ultimate BotBots show because I legit <laughs> love them. Please yeah. send me the BotBots box. So, uh, how many times in a row can you say BotBots box without messing up? Without messing I, you know, up. I didn't think I was going to make it, but I did. So I guess I'm the best at words or something. <laughs> no words. So is it shilling if you, you know, really love the product? No, no, it's not shilling if you really love the product. So, I mean, that's the thing that I I feel like is, is if they sent me that box, it's like, well, we already have a lot of the the stuff other than the the cool packaging that it comes with and and all that type of thing. But, um, you know, you can always do it for giveaways and things like that, too. You might be obligated to shill, but if, uh, if you love it, it's not shilling. Anybody yeah. wants to give anything away to me? Right. Okay, I need a refresher on what's in. Actually, I can't remember because I know it was the Bot Bots and it was uh, Bumblebee Prime. Didn't they have like a few other Siege, Bumblebee? Siege Soundwave, I think, was in there. Uh, uh, I think yeah. with, with the tape. A, a couple yeah. Cyberverse. I think they had Cyberverse things. figures. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and a couple Cyberverse figures. But I, I think it was mainly for. Uh, for some of the, the, the larger like like the press outlets in the in the fandom like like Sabertron or, or uh, BWTF, oh, uh, let's places see. like that. Yeah, I think a couple of the YouTube review the big oh. YouTube reviewers got them too. Oh, did they? Okay. Yeah. So I, I yeah, wasn't. I think sh- sh- I, I saw like an unboxing from Shardimus, um Okay. The other day, so. Yeah, it's pretty much like one from every line. That's pretty much so far out, like. Uh, I got the Siege Soundwave with uh, Laser Beak and Ravage, the Bumblebee Prime, a Bumblebee, one of the uh, ones with the motors or the engine blocks or whatever, and then uh, that big Megatron, which for a Cyberverse figure, which I wasn't really huge on the line, that Megatron, I'm kind of tempted in now. Did somebody say big Megatron? <laughs> Wrong one. It's pretty much exactly like that, except for he's gray instead of green. Right. 
pretty much. So, yeah, you know, I'm I'm really interested to see, um, you know, what else they do with the the 35th anniversary because we got a little bit of a, a sneak preview that they're trying to do at uh, Toy Fair. And it, it, it leaked, and then there's not been any official word at all from, from Hasbro on what they're actually doing with that stuff. There was, like, a, a special edition Optimus Prime, Megatron, and then I think there was a uh, Blue Streak, right? It was rumored. Megatron, Optimus, Blue Streak, and Sound Blaster. Oh, and Sound Blaster, that's right. And so, yeah, uh, they were, were, were there not, like, tune-tinted windows? I remember I was- that was the Maybe. rumor, but they didn't actually. So those particular figures, they didn't show anything. It was only uh, oh, like the, the card, package the mock-up, package or whatever. Oh, okay. right, right. Yeah. So. So. Yeah, yeah. It, it, that it's it looks like way because the rumors that it's being shopped around or it was being shopped around to being exclusive somewhere. Oh. Exclusives don't typically get shown off at uh, Toy Fair. Mm-hmm. Right. So, but yeah, and I know another thing that they're doing is, I, I believe, aren't they doing something as part of their, like, website or Facebook page, uh, where they're, like, featuring some of the past actors, I think, as well? Oh, yeah, I that Angela Bassett. I want to say I saw some about that. I, I that. don't remember. Yeah. I forgot about that. Yes, they're they're talking about that. Yeah. I think it's, like, how their lives were transformed by Transformers. Yes. Right. Something like that. Angela Bassett was first. She's great. Yep. <laughs> she did Shatter in Bumblebee. Right? Yes. Yep. Okay. Right. <clears throat> so. But yeah, so so with that, I guess, um, you know, I guess we can kind of just talk about some of the, the various errors of, of, you know, Transformers and then which one's our favorite. I mean, I, I think, um, you know, you can really, there's a, kind of a lot of distinct eras that they've had because I, I feel like every few years or so you know they're changing the brand and changing it up uh you know either with a new cartoon or a new toy line or whatever it may be so you know i know that you know some people like me who were around for the original g1 and then we have others um that you know their their g1 is you know the movie or the unicron trilogy and or, you know, whatever the case may be. Animated. So, or animated, right. So, so yeah, so so with that, um, you know, Christian, what was your G1? And, you know, what what is your favorite line or era of the last 35 years? All right, so my G1 is Beast Wars. But my G1 is also G1. I've told the story before where when Beast Wars was airing, I was still able to rent from Blockbuster tapes of several G1 episodes, and particularly the movie. So I had both at the time where you would have had just G1. So I've got both. I had both. Appreciated both for different things. Mm -hmm. My favorite era of Transformers ever is probably Prime Wars trilogy and other things during that time. The toys in that were good. The media from IDW coming out at the time, not related to that necessarily, was also very good at the time. The movies were bleh, but you know, they existed and were still making money, so it was in the public eye. And um, Third Party had come out of its first incarnation and was starting to be better quality and building up. So, yeah, I think between, what, 2013 and 2018, I would say. Well, and, and, you know, I would really argue that, you know, this recent era is kind of the golden age of, of Transformers, other than the fact that there's not there's not a long running cartoon like there was that that's really kind of had one since prime. I mean, I guess Rescue Bots, oh, short episodes. Forever, but that's not Rescue Bots. Right. But that's not something that any of us would normally get into. Mm hmm. But as far as toy wise, I mean, we have been blessed with just an insane amount of of product over the last few years. I mean, anything that you want to have, you know, that that character has been either redone, you know, between, you know, Cyberverse or the mainline, uh, you know, or you have with the Prime Wars trilogies, you have your third party high end collectibles or your your masterpiece figures. You have things like bot bots. Um, you have your just 
it, it, you know, on and on and on. And, you know, your movie figures, there was, I mean, there was a couple movies, or I guess if you're taking 2013 to 2018, I mean, how many movies? movies? Two, two movies, so. The yeah. worst two. <laughs> <laughs> And don't forget, you can also include for cartoons the uh, Combiner Wars and Titans Return and Power of the Primes cartoons from Machinima. Oh boy. Samoa Joe as Predaking and the Green Ranger as Max. Hey, Ron Problem was Optimus Primal. That's pretty cool. Never watched it, but I like the idea. They totally should have gotten Gary. Those cartoons are garbage, so. Yeah. I think they're <laughs> finally they're finally back up on I think the uh, rooster was it Rooster Teeth or something. Oh yep. yeah, um, and Rooster Teeth is doing the show on Netflix next year, so hopefully yeah. it's a little bit better. Yeah, but then there was a there was a little difficulty in staying up without uh, getting taken down because of claims by uh, what was it uh, Machinima, but now Machinima is no longer exist. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're they're gone now, so. Yeah, I think I started on like two or three episodes and I never got back into it. And as soon as I was like, okay, I'm going to start watching these so, you know, I can kind of get through the story. And all of a sudden you they were taken down. Much. I know. <laughs> For a show called Combiner Wars, they sure didn't focus on Combiners very much. They killed off two of them the first episode. Yeah, the first one is like, killed I don't off. even think a minute Sp- in. Spoilers. Yeah, Wind, Windblade <clears throat> can. Windblade. Windblade. She's great, but she's one one character. She could kill two combiners. Mm-hmm. Come on. With a sword. With mm-hmm. a sword. <clears throat> See, I, I think that if they would have actually like that combiner hunters uh, box set that they did for SCC, sure. if they would have somehow integrated that and actually had them like hunting the combiners, I, that would have been kind of cool. But they didn't do that. So, you know. Well, and, and I don't know if anyone else has watched it, but... The show is called Combiner Wars. It came out in Titans Return. And the story of Combiner Wars is that the Combiner Wars have already ended, and this is the aftermath. Yep. Like, what? Why not just yeah. show the more exciting part? Someone missed the memo on that one. But, yeah, that's not part of my favorite era. It's mostly just a toy and a comic era for me. On the bright side, we got a G1 Computron. We did with two. Two G1 Computron. Yeah, two, yeah. Oh, no, no, I mean in the, in the show, the, the, the model they used was modeled more after G1 than it was the Combiner Wars version, or even United Warriors. For all 18 seconds, we got to see him. <laughs> but, but yeah, no, I mean, I agree with you, too. I mean, I think that a lot of people would argue that, that that comic era was the best, you know, Transformers comic. Uh, I know a lot of people like the Marvel comics, but... Uh, I know a lot of others like me who, you know, really enjoyed the the IDW run, especially with more than meets the eye and lost light. That that was just a fantastic era and and a reimagining of of Transformers and what you think it could be, um, you know, so that it it really, you know, speaks to you not just as a, you know, when you're an adolescent, but now as an adult. Some it's something completely different. Mm-hmm. So yeah, so that's a good pick. Thanks. Always got um, nostalgia for what came before, but yeah, my favorite era is the really current one, or second to most current one, whatever, however you want to define it. Jim, would you like to go? Hmm. So, thrilling thirty-five, huh? I was about to say throwing thirty. Uh, yeah, that was... I know. That, that was... yeah, that's what I thought you were gonna say. You're like, oh, okay, yeah, no. th- 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 I'm th- like, th- no, th- thrilling thirty-five. Thrilling right? thirty-five. Um, now uh, you're asking what, what what's my favorite era? Well, one, or... okay. So, what was your G1? Like, was G1 your G1? Well, or did you have another, or did you grow up growing on up? Else? Uh, growing up, I, I'm a product of 1983, as per my trademark stamp in my own pit. Um. <laughs> I know, right? TMI. Uh, but uh, I grew up in the later years of, of G1. Uh, however, I was heavily exposed to just about all of G1, as well as uh, Masters of the Universe, G.I. Joe, like everything from that generation. I uh, had an older brother born in 77, so he already had some of the toys. And uh, so I, I 
I kind of enjoyed the early, earlier years by proxy as well as uh, like like you, like, uh, you mentioned earlier, uh, video stores had the uh, had the episodes in, in the big boxes. Yep. Uh, from uh, what was that? Family Home Entertainment, F H E. Yep. Had a little, little crayon drawing on the thing. But anyway, uh, even I know those. those. Yeah. And uh, I, I distinctly remember looking at the boxes and little the little comic panels on the back that was kind of a, a brief summary of goings on in that episode. And I, I always thought that was that was really cool. Um but as as far as my, my favorite era, I mean being it, it's what I grew up with, of course, I'm going to say uh the, the latter parts of, of G one simply because uh that's where a lot of my, my more favorite characters were from, you know, ones, ones that have more uh, sentimentality uh, to me, more, more of a connection. Ones like, like, like I mentioned before, horrible, uh, rad with lion eyes or erector, rough stuff. Um, heck, bone crusher uh, had a, had a great aunt and uh, we would always go over there for, for holidays. And she upstairs out of all the different toys, she randomly had out of nowhere, this G1 bone crusher. No, no parts or accessories to it. Just, just the little, she must have picked it up at the yard sale, I guess. I don't know. Ultimately, I ended up with it. But uh, yeah, uh, the, the later years of G1. But over the years, it has just been astounding to see just how much things have have grown and progressed, while at the same time hanging on to uh, that nostalgia factor. Um, and and some in some respects, it's been it's been great to see uh, them, them pay tribute to that. But at the same time. Over and over, getting G1 ad nauseum, lather, it's repeat, is also kind of uh, wearing a little bit. But uh, overall, I would say the later years of G1. Uh, kind of a kind of a second though, if, if I had to pick any any generation uh, aside from that or any era aside from that. I kind of want to see the movies. Uh, the, 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 the live action films, not for the stories, for the, cr- or the crude humor or the fact that none of the Constructicons had a wrecking ball in their individual modes. And I'm still mad about that. Um, but they, they have, had been some of the best designed toys that we had got, uh, that, that, that I've seen, you know, that yeah, Revenge of the Fallen is the way they, to do a line. Yeah, yeah, they, they, they were so much. far outside the box. They broke away from the old standard of, oh, hey, everything has to be squared or rounded. It's like, no, look, look at, uh, look, uh, hey, what's a good example? Uh, 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 was, it, was it Demolisher or Rampage? The, the, the thing with the two wheels. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, I think I got about Demolisher. That. Hang on. Rampage was a small ah. yellow guy. Yeah, this guy. Yep. Too well. Love that figure. Has no legs. It just it's two wheels. giant claws, two giant wheels, and a tiny face of hate and anger. And it's rolling after you, trying to kill you. Yeah. I love that. Yeah, some new body types introduced. That you is know, that you, is pretty cool. You that would not have before. seen something like that in G1. I'm sorry, you you, just, you would not have seen something like that. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, you've got one that. Yeah, uh, Rampage, I think it was, uh, like jumping around like a freaking pogo stick. Uh huh. That's cool. I'm sorry. Is it, that's just that. That's that's an element I think that being brought into Transformers makes it fun again. It's not all just you know seriousness, war, explosions, death, violence, whatever. You got a freaking pogo former. I mean, what, what's not to love? <laughs> boing, 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 boing. Right. right? <laughs> You know, he and, whips. and he pogo's and just, across and whips you. Uh, yeah, yeah. And as as much as you know, Transformers has has done over the years. One thing it has always done is it has been about change in all of its different forms and incarnations. It's always been about change. That's that's the whole premise of the brand, whether it be from one form to another and back again, uh, or it be from uh, one form to an upgraded form from one allegiance to it, to changing and fighting for the other team. I mean, you name it, but, uh, by far, I would say the, the movies and, uh, more, more recently the studio series as, as far as toys go. Oh, that was, that was mine. That was mine too. 
<laughs> well, and, and I think really the movies, I mean, especially around 2007, I, I, I would say that in, in when did Revenge of the Fallen came out? Was that 2009? Nine. 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 Um, yep. But but yeah, I mean. I, I would say that that was probably the point the Transformers was as popular as, as anything. Um, you know, I think the G1, of course, um, you know, and it was a huge uh, property back then. Uh, but I think that nowadays, if you were just to ask the, the average person, you know, what they think of Transformers, they would think of the movies first, I think, uh, mm-hmm. before they would think of, uh, of the movie just because is that, I mean, that the movies have made how many billions of dollars and, and all that. And I think that that's what most people at this point have seen, um, you know, too. So, and again, you know, like you said, I think that arguably because it was making so much money and, and, you know, with the toys um, that, you know, that era um, around there was probably where Hasbro has been making the best, the best toys or the most complete toys with the, the most articulation, the, the highest parts count, um, you know, all all those types of things, uh, you know, with with that era. Um, so so yeah, so that's a definitely a good pick. I, I, I agree. I, I think the the, the films uh, most especially have, have permeated more the, the pop culture uh, side of things uh, the, 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 in the recent years. Uh, more than the original show or any of the other series since then. I mean, people may look back and if they're old enough, they'll, they'll remember the old cartoon, the old toys. They, they might remember when, when Optimus was a, was a monkey and Megatron was a dinosaur, you know, and, and they'll, they'll, they'll have vague recollections of that. But overall, they remember, Hey, the movies, Bumblebee. Who, who's, who's Cheetor? Who's, who's Optimus? What? Bumblebee's the old, right? Well, and, and I think that that's the hard thing that um, that they have to do right now. And I think a lot of people, you know, they want them to completely reboot the movies and, you know, go totally away from the Bayverse and the Bay movies and all that type of thing, right? Like, there's a, a lot of our section of fandom, right? But at this point, it, you know, it's been 10 years like, this is what they're known for. This is what most people do. So I think it would almost be jarring to just completely scrap that and do something new. Well, it, could, it could very well work, you know, or it may not. It may be flop. And so then if, you know, I, I think, again, that, that uh, when they went back to Bumblebee and the, that new Bumblebee movie, it was it was kind of a compromise between uh, G1 and Babers. And to me, I, I felt like that worked. Um, in, I, in a sense, though, didn't isn't that basically what they did when they when they made Bumblebee? Is that right. they made it in such a way where where it could continue into the 2007 film, or it could go in a different direction, and he mm-hmm. just happened to also still be a Camaro. Right, but then there there's a fair amount of people criticizing that uh, that decision online. But to me, I think sure. it made sense. I mean, and I, I want to say there's even been some discrepancy between the, the writers or the producers or some, like, so. Some guys say that it don't, is connected. Don't other guys say that to it Lorenzo de Bonaventura. <laughs> just don't. Just disregard everything he right. ever says. Never interview him. Never listen to anyone who does interview him. Just completely discount him entirely. Yeah. Well, because he actually, like, you know, gets confused with himself. Like, he will give one interview one week. They will say one thing, and then he will give it a completely different interview the next week. So, with a completely different answer to the same question. Yeah. I mean, personally, I, I I would be okay if they did just take starting with the Bumblebee movie and have it loosely connect to the to the original Bay films, but then just have it just veer off in a completely different direction and, and be fine. Because because like if you think about it, you know, 2007. Okay, Bumblebee is already on Earth. He's hanging out with Bernie Mac, RIP. And all of a sudden, here come four more Autobots crashing into stuff. Okay, it's a whole big thing. End of the Bumblebee movie. Spoilers if you haven't seen it. Um, end of the film. Here comes, like, what, six more Autobots in addition to Prime? And now all of them are already on Earth. So, see what I'm saying? So, I mean, it could go in a different direction. I'm, I'm personally hoping that those are actually mini-bots that are falling to Earth. I think it would be neat to have a mini-bot movie. I want movie C Sprite. (laughs) 
So yeah, Jack, so, what about you? Yeah. Are you Samuel James Whitley? <laughs> Come on, tell me it wouldn't be entertaining to see uh, Shia LaBeouf and uh, Sea Spray. Uh, no. 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 I think Shia good. was good, but he he can be done. You know what? I actually kind of want to see Shia again. But, like, you know that picture that they had in, what was it? Um, last the, night. Last night where his hair was all crazy. That's yeah. the guy I want to see now. Uh, oh, was, I, like, wasn't that his, like, uh, eBay profile picture? It was. It was. Ladies, Like, is that seven. really the be- best picture that you have of him? Honestly? I, I guess maybe. so. If If he can get his life right, I wouldn't mind seeing him come back. And be like a, like an older Sam. That'd, that'd more, be okay. I'd be a okay more that. serious role, less utterances of the word no. Well, the thing I think is interesting, you, you know, you have um, uh, the Fast and the Furious franchise, right? Where yep. they have have figured out that they're like a caricature of themselves, right? And so they don't take themselves too seriously, and so it's kind of like this campy, you know, kind of thing going on yeah. with an action movie. And I, I really think that Transformers could do that too. Cause they, and I guess that was kind of what they're trying to do with last night a little bit. I, I don't know. I, I never, I'm not really sure if they were they trying, trying to, to do about four not. different things with last yeah. night and they yeah, all or, or right. age of extinction even. Well, last night was really like four movies anyway. Right. Yeah, pretty much. They got that great writers' room with all those awesome modern writers together, and they made all these great movies. The and writers' room. Ventura came in. Isn't that the room full of guys that made Peter Cullen say, "I'll kill you"? Yeah. Different guys. But uh, yeah, Devon Ventura came in and was like, "I like these three and went. That's not how movies work. You have to make one. You can't make three. You have to make one at a time. Make make them at different times." He's like, "I want to make three. No." <laughs> So that's what I did. So Jack, howdy, howdy. You, uh, I guess it is on to me. And now I think, of yeah. It. Um, well, my G one of sorts is Unicron trilogy. Um, okay. obviously I am the young one seeing how I never am not reminded of that. I'm reminded every week. Uh, that, that, next, that, tril- that trilogy covered nearly five years worth of time, dude. Yeah. So it was a um, series. But yeah. around the time I did get into Transformers, R.A.D., the original R.A.D. was yeah. still a thing. Oh. As Bumblebee Prime falls off and has a freaking stroke. Anyways, um, I never got into the first R.A.D., but I'm kind of tempted to get back into it, to get into it now. <laughs> Um, seeing how there are a few figures I really want to get, especially Scourge. Team Bullet um, Train is amazing. Oh, Scourge is great. Um, Team Bullet Train. Just um, saying. So the first, I think it was the first figure I saw from Armada. Uh, a friend of mine had it was Unicron. I'm like, because I was at, I think when I was two, I was at the bowling alley with my friends and uh, some family and. A friend of mine who originally got me into these things um, showed me, and I'm like, what's that? He goes, oh, this is a Transformer. You know, it's called Unicron. I'm like, oh, cool. Um, I'm like, can I have – I asked him because I didn't know how, you know, um, property worked when I was two, obviously. And I asked him, I'm like, can I have one? (laughs) He goes, oh, no. Um, So that's where I really started out was – the Unicron trilogy, obviously, with starting off was by seeing Unicron. Um, then I think my first one, I want to say, was Smokescreen, which is not the good, the greatest place to start because he was rather crap. Um, so great, yeah, that's great big giant gun though. Yeah. Now I think of it, yeah, there he is. <laughs> um, but I, I think one of the fondest memories I have from Armada was opening, I want to say it was the Power Links Prime on Christmas in like 2002 or 2003, whenever the Power Links line came out. Um, so that's 
pretty much why I love Unicron, the Unicron trilogy over anything else. Um, despite now that studio series and the chug line has pretty much exploded. Now it's pretty much forcing the Unicron trilogy off to the wayside and just, cause I'm pretty much, that's where all my money is right now is the chug line. And I, I hold weekly funerals for my wallet. So well, now, uh, now you, you know about the, the upcoming, uh, Armada Prime, right? Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I have the picture right here. <laughs> I've been looking at it for the past 20 minutes. <laughs> so, so what do you, what do you think though? Like that, uh, the, uh, the new prime coming out, um, for oh, here we go. The, the leader, the leader class prime. What is it? The galaxy force is, or no. What, yeah, I have galaxy, it here. Up, yeah. Galaxy upgrade. Yeah. What do you think about that? Are you excited for that figure? I love the original Power of the Primes, Optimus. Seeing how I got mine for four dollars, um, I never I'm really not, cared. Not Star Convoy. Yeah, no, I'm not. The, I'm, the I'm siege, talking about the one. The siege Ultra the, Magnus uh, remold. Yeah. Oh, Siege. So yeah, the, the, the uh, fire truck. Cy- 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 yeah. With the wings. Yeah. That one's a mixed bag. I love the original Cybertron version. I had it till I stupidly traded them off, which I'm still kicking myself every day for. Um, but I wouldn't mind the Siege version. I don't really think it's much of a priority now because I really want the original Optimus that can combine with Wing Saber and Leo Breaker and you know, the fun stuff. So it's, yeah. Yeah. I, I think that's interesting because, you know, that, that figure, I'm kind of like, yeah, on, on it. Like, cause I would rather be getting more G1 figures, uh, because I've really enjoyed all the, the stuff they've been doing. But then I was like, Oh, they're throwing, they're throwing you guys a bone. Like, here you go. You can have your, you know, Cybertron figure or whatever, Unicron trilogy figure. And so I, I figured that, that you would be the type of person that would be like, oh, my God, this is this is amazing. There's more articulation now. And it, um, you know, like it's, it's, I guess, kind of an upgrade on it. Can you guys see my screen? Yeah. Yeah. This little guy right here, this is what I want. Mm. I could not care less. I could care less for this guy. But seeing how, like I said, I was born and raised on the Unicron trilogy. I want this Armada Prime now. And, so, and the best part is it looks anime accurate, not not toy accurate. He exactly. Look, especially like a linebacker. He, he looks like streamlined. And I'm going to be weird that. about it. I'm going to be weird about it. But if you look at the, the way the crotch is designed, yeah. it's got the line in it. So I'm assuming... It, this might be capable of combining with the trailer. Yes, it's, it's it's going to. Uh, it, even if you look at the back of the feet, I don't know if they have that in that gallery or not. Uh, you can actually see the fists. You, you can see the hands of the, of the combined form. Let's see. Oh yeah, speaking of Cybertron Prime, he is right here. Hey, there you go. Yeah, that's the that's the one we were talking about. Yes, yeah, that's, that's Starcom. Um, come on. No. Yeah, see, like the Star Convoy one, I, I think it's definitely better than the Power of the Primes one. But at the same time, I'm like, well, it's not that much of a retail. There they are. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Right there. Oh, I hadn't seen that angle. That's great. Yep. Huh. Yeah, I, I honestly, I think they would have been crazy to do that and not have a combining feature in mind. Mm-hmm. I'm wondering how they're going to do the trailer. If the trailer is going to be articulate or if it's going to be a... Stand like Ooh, that's a toughie. That's a toughie. Unless they unless they bypass it all together and go right to jet fire and overload. Mm-hmm. Okay, all three. I'd, be, I'd be okay with that. So so the I mean, why, why not? We we got Diatlas from uh, what was it? Overload, Overlord. I mean, anything is possible at this point. So my question with that Armada Prime is that going to make an appearance in the next Hasbro line, or is it going to be Takara only? Um. From what we've seen with Stark Home, I don't think there's a Tarkar only anymore. Yeah. It may be a select well, thing. That, but yeah. what, what I mean I is, is okay, so that, that Star Convoy, right, is what, eighty bucks? Because it's like yeah. an exclusive kind of thing, right? Like what I'm talking yeah. about is 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 a 
you know, more reasonably priced figure, you know, like I don't, I, I don't know as much as I like the ones that are the Dakara exclusives. Like I just don't really like paying those prices and That's I would rather it to be at a retail price point. Well, my, what if it son. is at an $80 re- retail price point? So that prime, the trailer and spark plug as a commander. Okay. Spark plug as a commander. No, Spark like plug is in the box, all of them together. Oh, it's Commander class. It's like, like Commander. That's, that's gonna be a huge mini con. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or Spark plug. I, mean, that, I can't carry it anymore. Put, put overload as part of it. However, you have to make it, but get yeah. get to the yeah. commander size. Yeah. No, Spark plug doesn't power links to his shoulder anymore. Optimus gets in him and drives. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Spark plug. I can't carry it anymore. You're gonna have to transform. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, um, I was also going to, I was also going to say with my favorite era, I guess I'd kind of have to go with Christian's response was a 2013 to 2018, but I'm going to, I kind of twist a little bit. I'm going to go a little earlier and kind of end a little earlier. Um, it's pretty much when Chug started with classics in like 2006. Um, cause I had Starscream, okay. um, wasn't the universe, but it was actually the actual classics one right, where it yeah. had like the different eight scheme. The gray one, yeah. And uh, that's where it pretty much started the Chug collection. All of a sudden, I lost them, and the only piece I have remaining of them is one of his wings. Oh. Um, but yeah, um, so he ghosted on you. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, it was like 2006. I guess I actually I shouldn't say I shouldn't end early because it's like at the tail end of Power of the Primes is where it's pretty much gotten it was getting good. Um, I mean, I love the Rodimus, all the little mini Target Masters. I love. Huh? I'm I'm on the show with Anna and Lucas all the time, and they always rag on that Rodimus, and no one else likes it except me. So I'm glad to hear someone else likes it. Okay, now, are, are you are you referring to the 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 Classics Power the, 06 Rodimus or the Titan Power Power the Primes. Rodimus. Power of the Primes lead, leader class, Rodimus yep, Prime. Yeah. Okay, okay. I, I, clarify. I, okay, Christian, to clarify, I have a love-hate relationship with that figure because I love Rodimus. Okay, what I don't like is is the transformation with the clips. Like, we had to clip the, the stuff in and, and all that. Like, that's what I don't like about it. The figure itself. The Jigra Protector is so much better than Protector. It is better than Protector. I'll give you that. I mean, that that is the that thing. I, 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 I feel like in general with the Titan Returns line and some of these lines is, is that someone at Hasbro is like doing a shot across the bow to the guys from Fans Project. And they're like, hey, you know what? We can do this better for less money. Like that, you know, because I swear most of their figures better. have been, well, yeah, you know what I mean? Better like that. um you know, it, it's a better it's a better figure. It's a better transformation than Protector and all that. I'll, I'll give you that. I just didn't like the clips. So, yeah, I think my favorite <laughs> era, besides Chug, now I'm going to hop to, I'm on the bandwagon with Jim, was Studio Series, because I absolutely love that, which here I am going to plug in this guy again. Because, I mean, this... I don't have him yet, but I really want to get Jetfire because he looks so good compared to the original, which that kind of killed it for me. Um, and the original Studio Series Megatron, not the battle damage, I'm kind of indifferent to that, but the original Megatron, I really love. Um, I mean, he's, yeah, he's got his problems like being hollow. Still, I love him. And I am going to call it now, seeing how we do have a Masterpiece movie Megatron on the way. I am thinking we are going to get a studio or yeah, studio series movie one Megatron. I mean, we have movie one, two, and three prime now, seeing how the Dark of the Moon is coming out. We have movie two and three Megatron now out. Why not have movie one? And I'd buy that one in a heartbeat because the original movie one Voyagers absolutely sucked. Uh, that would make sense. Not to mention we all we also have a jazz. Yeah, and we have masterpiece jazz and uh, um, Any studio series jazz. 
Yeah. I can't wait Except to see the this studio thing series. in leader class. Because so far the Voyager that we got is stellar. I want to see leader class. Pretty it's much the whole Devastator is just going to be interesting. I mean, I, think I, I, gonna... love, I love Rampage and Scrap Metal. I love the way they look. Too yep. bad they just don't have them. But I think everything else is going to look good. I think Devastator is going to top people's list, a lot of people's list for best Transformer of all time. Oh, absolutely. I mean, I've seen a lot of people comment. They're like, I hate the movies, but I'm really excited to see how the studio series Devastator is going to look. Um, I wasn't a huge fan of the studio or the Revenge of the Fallen Devastator, especially the original toy, you know, the one that only had the, uh, the big toy that, you know, could go from vehicle to combined mode and, you know, no in between. I wasn't a huge fan of that, obviously, I'm like actually, a lot of other people. I'm actually really surprised they never took and upscaled in any fashion the Legends set. I mean, for no, for no better than, than it was, you know, as, as a Legends class, it still had it was, all three it was all right. modes. I have a knockoff Gu- of it. It's great. actually all right. Mm-hmm. Guarantee that we're all going to buy upgrade kits for Devastator to give them the wrecking balls. <laughs> oh, I, I guarantee you somebody's already designing them. Otherwise, take a couple ping pong balls, spray paint them silver, and get some. We're change. all going to get it, and we're all going to hate ourselves for it, and also we're mm-hmm. all going to laugh at each other for it. So it's going to be great. It's going to be a fun time. Yeah. How, how close are we to completing the Devastator now? How many more figures? Well, oh, oh. right now, uh, only two of them are, are out. There's two more coming this year. It would be Long Haul and uh, Hightower, which yeah. uh, Hightower is the upper left arm. Uh, and then so at the end of this year, we'll have the entire left arm and both legs. Uh, next year comes – They had uh, a timeline. I remember that, seeing it. Yeah, yeah, next year comes spring overload. Next year is when it's supposed to be done. Yeah. Right. Wow. Uh, next year comes overload. <sighs> What's the name? Mixmaster, scavenger, scavenger, and uh, who's, who's the right arm? Oh, let's see. Some kind of scrap metal. We already did that. Yeah. Yeah. So for what we have this year, remaining right. this year is high tower, long haul. That's it. Because right. we have scrap metal, high tower, and, and long haul, and rampage. Next wave. Yep. And the remaining four for 2020 will be mix max, mix master, scrapper. Those two being Voyager, Overload, yeah. and Scavenger are leaders. Right. So. Okay. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw a couple of those last four by the end of this year because 2020 for them starts in like October. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. Fiscal year and whatnot. It is true. Yeah, so six six more it's, figures it's, right now, Lucas. It's it's going to definitely definitely offer some competition to uh, what they had with the uh, uh, Titan class Devastator previously. So so yeah, sure. th- this one they're kind of kind of working on the third party timeline, I guess, for to for the release schedule, huh? I wouldn't be surprised if we got a box set of it later and, as like a movie masterpiece set. Yeah, yeah, like repaint them. Yeah, do do premium paint, metallic paint, or something, and, and do it that way. Well, mm-hmm. has Takara announced anything on on their side? I can see. Yes, they they've, they've got, got the same figures that we have coming out oh, at the okay. same rate. Yeah, there's no paint differences. The only difference is pretty much going to be packaging. Yep. Yeah. You got a trilingual or something? Yeah. Well, Lucas, so. what's what's your G1 and what's your favorite era? Well, my G1 is G1, um, so wow. I I grew Surprise. up on yeah yeah so I, I I grew up on the original. Um, so I was when when the first uh when the show originally came out, I was four, so I didn't really get into it until around the time of the movie uh, when that came out, and so then that was a little jarring because I really got into it, and then of course you know you're like oh I'm gonna go see this cool Transformers movie, and oh god they just killed off like all my favorite characters. So, um, and and I was always a little disappointed too, because at that point, um, the new, um, the new toys were out. So it was like, I couldn't get Optimus prime. I had to get ultra Magnus and, you know, some of those types of, I I never actually got ultra Magnus, but that was what was available, not Optimus prime. So that, that that must, that must've been kind of odd though, to, to start getting into that. And like, 
hey, I'm going to check out this new Transformers thing and see what it's all about. Okay, so who are these characters? Okay, that's that's the leader, and there's this guy. And, oh, hey, they're dead. Okay, then, uh, well, fine. Who are these other guys now? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I- exactly. So yeah, no, I mean, um, but yeah, G1 was was mine, and then you know, kind of like a little before Jim, uh, but you know, but before you. Um, with your stuff. So, um, so yeah, you guys kind of stole my picks though, for as far as my favorite eras. Um, because, you know, I, I think now, um, you know, I, I will say again to the classics. I mean, I think that was just such a great idea. Um, you know, of, of, of coming out with restylized versions of it, uh, of, um, you know, of those characters. And, and the funny thing I think is, is I think originally that was just kind of like meant to be a filler line, right? Like, I mean, it was, it was like oh, classics? one classics. Yeah. So it came yeah. out in 2006 and it was just like, essentially they created a line before the movie came out um, just to kind of have some extra stuff on the shelves. It lasted for uh, a little over a year, the original line. Yeah. And, and, uh, and that was that. Um, but here, here we are, you know, whatever, 13 years later, and they still have, you know, that generations or whatever kind of, kind of line going. And so, I mean, ultimately that's, that's kind of like their longest running line. Um, if you take it as a whole, yeah. and of course they've split it up and, and all that type of thing, but they've always had yeah, classics, that, universe, generations, generations two. Yeah. Right, uh, right. right. With all the neon repeats. So no, not, oh, G, not G2, but when generations got rebooted. <laughs> I will take all neon repaints that they they want to do. So I'm I'm. A I wouldn't mind. So I want Studio Series G2. <laughs> <laughs> That's a tall order. That uh, that would be that would be great. I I would all the know are orange. Surprise. So, um, but but yeah, so I. You know, for me, I, I think that that's really when I got back originally got back into collecting uh, again too, and kind of my original, you know, figures that I, I was just excited to have something, and you know, that I'd I'd really be curious if they, you know, release that line now, what everyone would think about, you know, that particular line compared to to what we have now. Um. So, but yeah, and and I think now, I mean, I, I'm. You know, and I know, Jim, you had, uh, you know, kind of said, too, about a lot of people are, um, you know, not liking that they keep redoing G1 over and over and over again. But for me, I'm really enjoying it because I'm finally kind of getting the characters that I want. I think that the main line, like that that Optimus Prime and the Prowl and the Shockwave and the Soundwave and all those types of things... It's, you know, they finally have the level of articulation, you know, that I want on a figure at the price point that I don't mind, you know, picking up and they can kind of be good fiddle bots and, and all that type of thing, too. So I just had a crazy thought. I was, my, my brain is still thinking about that Studio Series G2 thing. I, I just I just thought uh, Studio Series G2, everybody is covered in flames except Optimus. Yeah. <laughs> I can, yeah. Um, For no apparent reason. Yeah, imagine a green with purple uh, spots on them of uh, Revenge of the Fallen Megatron. Oh, jeez. Honestly, if that's like a convention exclusive or they just grab some bots and just get, you know. Oh, only I like if, that. Only if instead of saying, uh, uh, what did he said, uh, there's no leader but Megatron. You'd have to say. You'd have to say that. Or imagine like a blue Age of Extinction Grimlock. I would blue with gold that. trim. Well, yeah, we'll blue with something like that. We kind of got that. I mean, we got a turquoise colored one with that. The new one where it had that, the the paint job. Grimlock like patina. The patina. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the Studio yeah, yeah. Series. On the Studio Series, yeah, yeah. No, I'm saying, like, full-on Studio Series, just, like, Whoa. full-on blue with the gold trim, and mm. that'd be fun. <laughs> yeah. I'm just no. trying to think. Now that Jim's got that locked in my mind, now I kind of want to see that. 
I, I just want to see everybody just covered in flames, just red and blue flames. See, I actually think that the, that Cyberverse line that they're doing, just like, no. if they did Cyberverse in G2, but that would be great. I would totally buy that for my kids, like those crazy colors and everything. I think yeah. they would dig it. You guys are weird. <laughs> yes, we are. Yes, we are. We, we, we're, 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 yeah. But hey, I still want my you know, Combiner Wars G2 Defense or so, you know, I guess I'm there with you some. At yeah, some, some I am what? Yeah. feeling. Yeah. yeah. So. Hey, so, you know what? Uh, coming. It could happen. That, that's true. That's true. We just need a monster, not, right? Or, or a yellow devastator. <laughs> You get a yellow devastator. You know what? I'm all aboard the uh, the downsized devastator train now. So there you yeah. go. Mine, mine should be arriving hopefully soon. Oh, that's right. I was going to look that up. I want to. I'll let you know how it is. Is it is it the same basic mold, just smaller? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. It's a, it's just a, now a hair taller than like a normal combiner worth combiner, which is how tall a devastator should be. So now we just yeah. need a giant star screen and we can make that combiner worse thing. Oh, is that what happened? I didn't finish it. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh, with all the. I'm not. I'm not going to elaborate as to what any of that means. Then I won't explain that. I know that the combiners combine into a combiner. That's, that's what they do. That's that's their whole thing. Yeah. That's that's cool. so. Yeah. So I just googled the <laughs> downsized Devastator. Um, looks like. Um. Scrapper and Mixmaster. Yeah, they're pretty much the same size as. Combining with Swindle. <laughs> nice. Yeah, yeah, a couple of them are smaller, a couple of them are bigger, just because of how they had to be designed specifically right. for that figure. But uh, in general, they, the Constructor Cons work, and the Devastator definitely works. Okay. Good. So, I'll show them off what, out of the uh, out of the 35 years of the brand, uh, what are some of the what are some of the more prevalent things uh, you guys think have Contributed in major ways to, to the brand uh, overall, whether it be through uh, innovation in toy design or new, new concepts, gimmicks. So my <laughs> argument, I actually think that Beast Wars may have been one of the biggest defining things for the brand. And the reason is, is because the fact that it still worked as a completely different thing. And so I think that that hallmark has kind of stuck stuck with Transformers to where they have not just tried to shoe, shoehorn it into like one thing over and over again, and then the brand died, you know. Whereas like every, you know, they're always kind of mixing things up a little bit and and, and changing it, uh, you know, somewhat between the movie and whatever. So they took that chance because they had to because the brand was pretty much dead at that point. And then now that's uh-huh. kind of, you know, went on and, and been somewhat of a hallmark of Transformers and, and kind of what why it's still here 35 years later. Yeah, that's yeah. probably the most significant part that happened. Yeah. Transformers I mean, wasn't much. dead, but it was certainly on the way out. Yeah. And they needed thank, a thank, thank God for things like big uh, refresher. Yeah. Thank God for things like Mutant Soundwave, Animorphs and Poison Bite. <sighs> Poison Bite's the best. <laughs> or what, what was that one? Rotorata or Rotorata? Oh, Rotorata. I can't even pronounce it. Yeah, something like that. Whatever, from Japan. Yeah. We know him here as Injector. Yeah, that guy. I don't know why I remember his Japanese name more than I do. Because it's ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, I think it's probably why. So, since we were talking about the undersized Oh, hey. Devastator, for those who were wondering, it is $50 on tfdirect.com. I am digging the box. They said it is is about the same size as a CDCC or SDCC box. That's so, wrong, I was, I was trying to decide as far as I which, know. Somebody, uh, let me see. No, yeah, it's not. I think the, the box is just... Kubian? And the box also yeah. claims that it's the same size as Commander yeah. Wars yeah, Devastator. Yeah. They it's just not. Ripped, they does ripped it? the box out completely. Yeah. yeah. Where, where, where does it claim that? On the back. It's on the back, yeah. Oh. Yeah. I don't think they show it here, but yeah, I mean, this is uh, the figures compared to oh, Studio far Series. Out. Yeah, so they're about the right size. Oh. Yeah, and I mean, that looks good next to that Legends Prime, so. 
Um, now they have it. They have it next to some of the other third party devastators. Do they have any examples of it actually standing next to its Hasbro counterpart? No, this is just the one thread on uh, okay. TFW. So I it's... think I think there's been some other pictures somewhere. So yeah, its promo awesome. images showed it with the um, Superion. Yeah, I, I, it's, I like... it's just a little like like a fraction of an inch taller than Superion, now, which is good to me. Is it the the Hasbro mold, or is it like yes. the, it's the car mold yeah. with like the different weapons and things? It, it's Hasbro. the Hasbro. It doesn't have any extra elbows or anything. Okay. okay. Which is unfortunate, but yeah, I mean, okay. Somebody will make an add-on kit or something. 50 bucks, Hopefully. though. That's, that's not bad. So, yeah. so with this, so we're only hoping that Hasbro watches the first half of this show and not the last half. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I know, I'm, I'm, I'm sure. Please. I'm sure they're my box, box, box now. Yeah, I'm sure they're well aware. <laughs> Goings on. Thanks, whoever brought up the undersized devastator. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. They were they were almost going to do it, Christian, and then and then they're like, oh wait a minute, these guys, Christian bought that back up. Sorry, cut that guy out. <laughs> so now I'm all the sad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, any, anything uh, anything else with with the Beast era? In any any major capacity? Uh, I don't know. Nah. Okay, I, I had to have to be that guy, but I'm I'm gonna come out and say it. I enjoyed Beast Machines. I didn't as I a was... kid, but I do now. Originally I was indifferent to it because I didn't think it was part of the same series. I just thought, you know, they kind of slightly rebooted it i don't know sure. then i really got into i think i watched a few episodes then i was i came across a couple links and i'm like i uh, guess i'm gonna kind of read up about it and i'm kind of want to get i want to find the series so i can get uh, so i can find both the dvd series of beast stories and then beast machines and just watch it all in one and try to get understand the whole well, uh, I'm gonna say avoid avoid the kid rhino sets because they're just they're overpriced. Just get, That's get what I heard. Shell factory. Yeah. Yeah, uh, but with, with with beast machines, I just much much like Transformers uh, movies uh, did, it broke away from the the standard and gave us some of the some of the neatest looking alien robots uh, that, that we've ever seen. I mean, look, look at things like uh, Obsidian or uh, what, what's, what's another one? Uh, Thrust. Speaking of Beast Machines, I'd oh. just like to give a shout out to Headmaster Don and Supreme Clash Cheetor. Yes. yes. His favorite figure of all time. Yes. Yes. Did, did we ever get one for him? We did. Yeah. 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 Okay, I couldn't remember. Well, I, I will I've say it weeks. was a lot of fun when I went to TFCon, taking a picture of every Supreme Class Cheetor that I saw and sending it to Tom <laughs> and being like, and, and acting like I was going to buy it for him. So that was that was fun. Don, you want this one? Don, you want this one? But uh, no, so, some of the some of the toys in, in these machines were, were were stellar. I mean, it, some of the smaller ones even, because I mean you got you got the larger ones that didn't really look too much like they did in the show, but some of the smaller ones were pretty spot on, like the uh, the tank drone and the jet drone uh, were just outstanding. Uh, Obsidian, I just, I can't go on enough about Obsidian. Just a Everyone thing. go by Night Viper. Uh, yeah, Night Viper. Um, Hammer Strike, I, yeah, I think was one of my good. favorites from that line. Um, the, the one downside, though, is in these machines, there's a lot of translucent plastic my hammer strike yeah. is broken because of I noticed. Yep. Okay, besides Rock, Beast Wars, Rock I think Christmas. probably probably 07 movie is the strongest mm. change in the brand's history. I mean, Beast Wars brought yeah. it brought everything back from the brink. The movie brought it to worldwide prominence where it was always a popular kids brand. I mean, always. It, it never I mean, it waned and, and waxed in popularity, but the movies just really hit harder than I think anyone ever expected. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Who would have thought that Transformers then would have been a, a you know, billion dollar movie? No one. Right. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't think at the beginning that they were expecting it to be a franchise. 
like it is. Well, I think that they were they were testing the waters with the first one, and then when it when it ended up being successful, I think they that's when they, they decided to greenlight the next two. Right. Yeah. And then uh, I, I forget what the thing was with with uh, Age of Extinction, but yeah, there's a there's another there's another brand that uh, that actually I thought did wonders for uh, the franchise overall. Um, and this this is uh, kind of a little subtle segue. It was, uh, the Cyber Jets. Uh, I was sitting there looking at it, and it reminded me Universe 1.0. Which, if you think oh, about it, was the yes. first sort of classics line that we got. It, it, it was effectively Transformers' greatest hits. I didn't and think I of that until now. Line wide bot concept. Uh, pretty much. I mean, the, the whole Universe 1.0 line that came out, what, 2003, was it? It was like 2002, 2003, yeah. You had, like, you had a, you had a CD with a little interactive games and puzzles and stuff. Uh, which so, some folks actually still have. I, I think I might still have mine somewhere uh, included. And then later on, they transitioned into to including a little comic instead. Um, but you had figures from G1 re, repainted or remolded entirely. Uh, from, from Machine Wars, from Beast Wars, Beast Machines, pretty much every era was represented. You had, uh, well, what was it, Ru- Ruination, which was based off the G1 Bruticus mold. Uh, was, was remolded from the G1 because you had the, the RID remolding to be able to combine the weapons together, as well as the starting with Universe 1.0, they remolded uh, Blast Off and rounded off his nose cone. But I mean, you, you had, uh, I don't know, uh, Machine War Starscream was, was uh, reissued as uh, they called it King Atlas. It was a re- mm-hmm. reference to Diatlas, I believe. Mm hmm. Um, uh yeah, King Atlas. Yep. Yeah. What what, what else did we get? In that? We got uh, we got Death Charge. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Tanker and Obsidian. Tanker was the. Uh, um, yeah, yeah, because it was the blue Obsidian, and then it was the larger, larger mold Tanker. Yep. That's right. That's right. Yeah, uh, I'm looking at the wiki now. Uh, there was Optimus Primal. It was like the orange or no the. Oh, you you mean Rodimus Primal? It was no. red. Come on. Yeah, red and yellow. Yeah, actually, yeah. It was red and yellow. Rodimus Prime. Uh, Cyber Jets. We got Cyber Jets again. Uh, Razor Claw, I said, was one of them. Uh, the purple and pretty much the nemesis looking Razor Claw. And yeah, I one forgot. Of the, one of the best parts about Universal 1.0 MicroMaster Combiners. We got six Turbo in the States. We got six Train, six Builder. Uh, we'll, what was the other? Uh, six wing. Six wing. Um, J- Japanese exclusive molds. We had never gotten the six. We, we finally got in one form or another. Same with uh, Big Convoy Nemesis Prime too. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. We got yeah, universe. We, 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 we got Murder Mammoth. We had Machine War Star Scream, or not Star Scream, Soundwave. I meant to say. Yeah. 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 We got Murder Mammoth from, with the blood the- on the tusks. That, that was that was the pretty tail end of RID into into Universe 1.0 and the Dinobots line too, so it all kind of get folded together. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. They featured molds from every Transformers line that had ever existed before it, which was yeah, except really Animorphs. Fantastic. It was not it was such Animorphs. Really if you if you, if you, if you God, have one God line, you have to collect Animorphs. Universe 1.0. Yeah, but it, yep, if you have one, you have to collect Universe 1.0. It was really a celebration of yes. everything that had come before, including pretty fantastic purple silver. There you go. Mm-hmm. The, the one true line to rule them all. <laughs> that that, that I, I thought was a precursor to any other classics or generations line that we've gotten since then. Mm-hmm. Um, the, the next closest thing to it, I would say, would be maybe Energon as, 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 as coming close to that. But Universe 1.0 was unique in that it used vintage molds. Well, do we have any other lines or eras that we didn't touch on? I think we've hit quite a few of them here. I want to say R.I.D. 1.0, Car Robots. Yeah, I kind of touched on it mm-hmm. earlier when I said, you know, I kind of got started on it, but I never yeah, just really... Yeah, kind of a passive attention. Yeah. It, it contributed a lot, too. Uh, I mean, yes, it used a little bit of a, a, the older molds again, you know, with Rubination. Uh, but we got some new stuff. We, we got... Uh, we, we got Team Bullet Train. We got uh, the Build Team, which a lot of people tend to hate on the Build Team, the form landfill. Build Team's fine. 
th- that's fantastic. That they're, it's a modular combiner. Any one of the three larger ones can become the arms or a leg. What other combiner and transformers have we ever had that can do that aside from just your standard scramble city? Yeah. I mean, I, I will say too, you know, the, the G2, you know, just to hit on that, I think that, um, you know, that, that line had a good combination of, you know, redos of some of the best of G1. And then yeah. at the same time, you know, some of the uh, figures they had, some of the first figures that we had with ball joints, uh, and, and some of the articulation that was, was a little bit better. Like again, like your, uh, cyber jets there, um, yep. Ooh, yeah. that, yeah. So, um, you know, that too, I, I think G2 is kind of a fantastic line, but you know, of course we, we never got to see all of it cause it got canceled and didn't, didn't necessarily catch on like they had hoped, but yeah. Another one that did that was animated. Yes. We'd be yeah, remiss if we didn't mention that. Oh, and yeah. Fantastic and toy Prime. line, fantastic cartoon. Prime. Animated uh, was a animated. love letter to the fans. It's been off air for 10 years as of last week. Sad stuff. Stop but making it was me amazing. feel old, please. Cancel too soon. And it was. It, 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 Prime. Was, yeah, it was Prime. slated for a fourth season originally, wasn't it? It was. And then uh, it, did, yeah. it did get picked up again. Yeah. And then after animated, we had Prime and the video games and uh, both, you know, fantastic stuff. Good, good toys, good shows. The video games are another. Probably, you know, one of the best shows that we've had. Yeah, absolutely. I think those are all the major ones we probably needed to touch. Yeah, animated, I I thoroughly enjoyed, but I was was disappointed that we didn't ultimately get the Omega Supreme arc. I, I was so looking yeah. forward to, to the, the that whole concept of that, to have a full-scale arc, finally. Uh, not counting the one we got in Dark of the Moon Cyberverse, you know, but a full G1-looking arc that all is also freaking Omega Supreme. Uh, that, that was just a, a wonderful concept that brought in two classic, uh, iconic uh, items and, and characters in the brand. Put them together yeah. flawlessly in a way that worked beautifully. I, I would say the animated too is it, um, some of the most show accurate toys that we've. Oh, gotten, hands down. You know, and some of the best quality. Because I mean, it was kind of that era where they hadn't been started cutting costs yet. Right. Um, and and so a lot of the the figures are pretty, you know, have a quite a bit yeah, of plastic I, and all that. So I, I agree there. You pick up an animated figure and it's actually got some weight to it. Mm-hmm. Um, Safeguard uh, from Animated, I thought was one of the best things we got. It was a, it was a symmetrical docking combiner, right half and left half. Yeah, we've never seen that before in the brand, and I, I don't think we've seen it since, have we? I don't think. And maybe maybe Energon Wing Saber, if you technically want to count that one, I guess. Yeah, he's but, symmetrical. Yeah, in, in a way, but uh, but but Safeguard, you had uh, it was Jetstorm and Jetfire. They were they were I think homage in, in, in name only, um, but they were, they were the right color. They, yeah, but they, they were they were just neat, you know. They work well individually and they work well as a combined unit. Animated, we miss you. Awesome. <laughs> Come back. I wouldn't mind watching that again. I I really want to get back into that. I want to get of. made a majority of the toys. Just watch some of the. Big shot reviewers, especially few. If you like, ever watch some of his unboxings, he gets some animated stuff, <laughs> and he just has the biggest grin on his face out of everything he oh. gets. Mm-hmm. Understandable. Absolutely. I, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm kind of bummed that they, they didn't follow through with making the animated Devastator they were, they were going to do. Yet it's, it's the anniversary time, so maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Studio Series animated you, Devastator. You can never, I think what we've learned in the recent era is that you can never say never to anything. That that is this true. Is, this is true. This is true. I mean, heck, we're getting Armada Armada Prime and uh, Star Convoy coming up. So I mean, I need more uh, Galaxy Unicron. Upgrade. Unicron. I need more Unicron and trilogy and stuff. And like redoing now. Revenge of the Fallen Devastator. Like who who would have yeah. ever thought that was happening? So never never say never. It's been a great 35 years. Lots of highlights. Lots of influential points. And uh, here's to 35 more. Yep. So, so Jim, if we wanted to get some of these toys, where would we get those from? Well, 
Based on my recent experience, I would say not at brick and mortar stores because Walmart doesn't like to stock for crap. Mine so does, actually, if, in lieu of that, I would recommend that uh, you check out a little place called uh, CapturePrey.com. Uh, I've known them to, for a long time, offer great toys for great prices, and they have great service. I'll do this for those. I'll do those. I'll do this for those who haven't seen the site. Oh, capture uh, prey. Keep it family friendly now. Okay, good. Yeah, Jeez, I was worried there. Yeah. Capture prey. Stasis pod holding now. Great available. toys, great prices, great service. Capture prey. Whoever names Stasis pod holding must be a really cool guy. Yeah. Sounds like it. Yes, he he will hold your stasis pod if you pay him. And then also, if, uh, if you like what we do, um, <laughs> you know, uh, consider uh, supporting us on Patreon uh, as well. Uh, it's patreon.com slash TFYLP. Uh, and there are a slew of different pricing levels all the way from a dollar on up. Uh, and, and the main reason that we're doing this is, is uh, you know, just to kind of help uh, with server costs and, you know, with, with various costs with the show, equipment costs and, and things like that, just so that we can kind of, try to break even, uh, you know, with the show. So that's patreon.com slash TFYLP. And uh, then also, uh, we also have some other shows uh, on the network here as well. Um, So we have the Microcasters uh, Tuesday nights at 10 o'clock Eastern. Uh, And that that show is actually exclusive to Facebook. Uh, It is the tftalk.net Facebook page. And we always try to post a link at the TFLP group as well if we can. Um, but uh, but with that, go ahead and check that show out. What that show is is a uh, live toy reviews. Uh, so come check it out. Usually, what we try to do is is uh, we try to focus on mainline and some cheaper figures. We've done a couple high end figures, but for the most part, try to try to keep it uh, reasonably priced. Um, so yeah, so check us out on Tuesday nights as well. So. All right. Well, I guess that's the show. Anyone have anything uh, to add before we go? Uh, yes. <laughs> Here we go again. All right. Well, there we go. It, it, so, it seemed relevant. All right. So, so I guess that's it. And have a good night, everyone. Talk to you later. Good night, son.